Hey guys, welcome to and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherelle, if you're new here, and welcome to another vlog. Today is Monday, April 29th. As you see, I am getting ready for the gym. I found these shoes. I haven't worn these shoes in forever. I found these in the back of my closet, so I'm gonna wear them today. And yeah, I'm going to the gym later because I'm not doing cardio, so I'll probably make it to the gym around like 5.30. It was either wake up early, go to the gym early, leave early, or wake up a little, little later, still go to the gym, but leave like still early, basically. Just sleep in a little today because I'm doing cardio on my lunch at Cycle Bar. And if you guys didn't see the last vlog, I did, um, I am doing the trial of class pass. So Cycle Bar is one of the options and they have a 30 minute um cycle thing and that's great because i haven't cycled in years i'm like bro just imagine riding to like young money i can't but um i'm gonna try to get into one of those for sure you just have to be i guess early to book you all you could also do like notify me if you if an opening comes up but most of those classes be in the evening you know i'm not an evening gym person so we will see. I am tired. Um, I didn't do much this weekend, but like straightened up a little bit, cooked. I don't even cook this weekend, I lied. Like I cooked breakfast, but I didn't cook dinner last night. All right, let's go to the mirror so you can see my outfit. because my husband is asleep. still be in my car so i'm not gonna use that water i need to wash that cup oh my mom bought me a cup mom bought me this saint's cup and i'm gonna use it today fill it up with water it has this part at the bottom <sighs> what i don't like about it is like you can easily see fingerprints that's hot water stains because we have to change our salt and our water softener but oh i need to find something to eat too okay. so i'm gonna eat one of these because i don't feel like eating oatmeal So I am about to head out and I'll talk to you guys later. All right, y'all, I'm back from the gym. I probably covered in freaking chalk cause whoever had the barbell before me, like they didn't even clean it. So I'm just picking stuff up and all of a sudden I look down. I'm covering white stuff like I did a liner. But <laughs> anyway, I stopped at HEB to get a few things. I then I'm gonna do some jerk um salmon tonight for dinner with some yellow rice and stuff so i got a marinade whatever it's not authentic i needed some more liquid iv they didn't have the white peach at my heb so i just got the green grape the sugar-free one um if you know you know you gotta need some prune juice i'm gonna take this after i come from my second workout but i need it um and Josh said he really liked these, the Celsius um, Live Fit Essentials. I got two of the Fruit Burst flavors. Cause I don't think I was able to try that. And I got some eggs. Cause we're about to do, look, my birthday is in six weeks and I want to lose 10 more pounds in six weeks. Now that's very ambitious. 
I know. But if I like focus on eating right, cause I already got the down, the working out down pat. I just need to focus on getting enough protein and eating right and getting my water in. I think I could lose 10 pounds by my birthday. So birthday is in six weeks and I'm trying to do 10 pounds down. And then after that goal, if I make it and if I don't, it's okay. I'm gonna set another goal for another six weeks. But this six weeks, we are focused on losing 10 pounds. So I am about to, I'm not cooking breakfast today. I'm about to put two eggs in like my egg head if I could have, well I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna just put one egg in my egg head if I could make tuna for lunch, if I could eat some tuna and crackers for lunch. And yeah, I'm gonna shower, put on some more work on <laughs> workout clothes and be ready for when I need to head out around like 11. They say when I need to be there like 20 minutes early, but I'm gonna try to get there at like 15. But then I'm gonna head there around like 11. I'm gonna leave like 11.30 and I probably make it there like 11.15 and the class starts at 12. Anyway, so yeah, workout was good. I feel good and I'm gonna continue my morning. I have about 45 minutes where I need to log into work. So let me start this egg head and shower and I'll just probably pick you guys up like when I'm about to leave out for, so, not soul cycle, for cycle bar. <laughs> hey guys welcome to another morning in the vlog today is april 30th is it the last day in april i think i believe so it should be <laughs> yeah i don't remember which months have 31 days and don't okay so it is the last day in april hmm. april what a month so i am about to head to the gym i have this other half of my energy drink I had Saturday because I didn't drink an energy drink yesterday. I, f I actually forgot and I was down the street. I was like, oh well, and I was about to purchase one at the gym. Um, And I have my water. I'm using this water bottle because I still have to clean some cups. I like to hand wash my Stanley and my other cups and stuff. So it takes a while for me to get to them. But anyway, I have on this shirt that y'all saw a million times and then i have all these um sozel leggings they're so buttery smooth and i have on some nike socks oh my hand shoes are sore and i'm wearing these shoes today and y'all um, all that stuff i was talking about cycling yesterday so i got my days mixed up I don't know why I kept thinking Monday was the 30th and I was like, oh, I got my second class Monday. So mind you, I came home, took a shower, put on some more gym clothes, like workout clothes. And like at 11, I was like, okay, let me, let me see how long it's going to take me to get there. That's depending on the time I'm going to leave. So something told me to go check class pass and check my reservations. And I was like... I looked at my, my computer, it says 29th. I said, this thing said the 30th. And I was like, oh my God. I kept on telling Josh, oh, I got second class Monday. I'll tell y'all I have second class Monday. It's today. <laughs> so I got my days confused. <sighs> it's life, but it is on my calendar. And of course, I don't know why I didn't look it up that way. Cause it is on my personal calendar i always add anytime i have a point i just add to my personal calendar because you know apple will remind you that you have stuff coming up so yeah anyway i'm going today finally and i have i'm gonna wait until saturday to actually purchase the membership i know so i was gonna wait the whole child thing but i think with them you can't book the same studio twice or something like that i don't know it's weird because there's some reason i can't book club pilates anymore and i can't book i can't book wait let me see if i could try if i could book another cycling like another two cycling classes for next week if i, I could use all my credits before i purchase the um before i purchase see how it's saying like it's saying upgrade to paid membership and that's for sunday but Monday is saying upgrade to paid membership. Tuesday is wait. It says wait for 5 a.m. today to book. And Tuesday they have the Young Money one. I'm pretty sure as soon as it book is gonna say upgrade to paid membership. So I'm not sure if you can't book like the same studio twice during class pass trial. 
pretty sure that's what it is but that's fine i really want to wait until i use my last well let me see what my credit is saturday oh see it's 12 credits for saturday and if i do my membership now it's going to take my 12 credits from yeah i don't know <laughs> i don't know i was in and out yesterday like like thank goodness i didn't have that class because i wasn't feeling like 100 percent yesterday so i'm still not 100 percent now like not as <clears throat> sick i'm just feeling like <sighs> i don't know i guess it's like the end of the month my body is tired i've been working out i had a rest day sunday so i refuse to take two rest days in a row because that's when i start falling off if i take like one two three these turns into five five turns into ten and i feel like i'm gonna be starting over again so i it's a mental battle daily i'm telling y'all like this stuff is not easy <laughs> it's not easy to get up it's not easy even to go to the gym but it's not easy to get up what five days a week 4 a.m to go to the gym it's it takes a lot and kudos to people who's doing it kudos to my girls that's doing it during the day after work after work is worse i'm gonna tell you right now kudos to the people who work out after work because <laughs> i'll be through <laughs> i'll be like that no more no more no more for today but anyway let me go ahead and go i'm kind of procrastinating because i really don't know if i'm gonna do cardio since I didn't do cardio yesterday because I thought I was going to cycle bar and when I found out I wasn't going to cycle bar I still didn't do any cardio so I think I'm just getting some steps today after this workout and then still do cycle bar yeah I'll just talk to you guys later Hey y'all, so I got back from cycling like a couple of hours ago. I am about to go shower now. But I want to tell you about my class. When I said I am hurting, it's because I'm thinking like, oh, you only going to be using your legs during cycle. No, I worked out my upper body today. So my upper body is sore and you use your arms and your legs at the same time. You have to be coordinated. You stand up, you stand down, you stand up, you stand down. It's a lot. But I'm going to do it again because it was a challenge. I was like, I don't know if I could do the 45 minute class because that 30 minute took it out me. But Josh went to a class yesterday, yesterday morning, I think. And he said that they took breaks for this class. It was no breaks. It was 30 minutes straight cardio. Like my heart rate was up to like 181. So I am going to do it again once I'm um, because um, I, like I said, I don't think class has let you book the same studio twice during a trial so i think i'm going to after my class tomorrow i'm going to actually just sign up and just if i could start going because they have like a low wing i was telling you about that i think it's next week and i want to go i think if i have like like good good music for 45 minutes and then like josh say they take breaks i think i'll be good for 45 minutes but it's definitely a challenge yeah i place 19 out of 21 <laughs> When I saw my name on that board at 19, I was like, bro, I could at least been midway. Like, I was at the bottom. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I need to. Now is, now is a challenge for me. Now I want to do it. And now I want to get higher on the board each day I go. Definitely can't go. I, don't, I wouldn't go more than once a freaking week because that's the exercise. It's, it's cardio for sure. But when I say I feel good, I'm glad I went. Everybody was so friendly there. They even write your name on the locker. I guess your first time. The the only thing is, I think with class pass, the shoe rental is not included, so I have to pay four dollars to rent the shoes. But they had people with regular shoes on. But I'm not gonna chance it. Not how uncoordinated I am. I probably my ankle probably twist or something while I'm trying to stand up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get the shoes that clip in, and I couldn't get the shoes out because she was like, just unstrap them and I'll get the shoes for you. Cause I was like, how the hell you get out of these shoes? But anyway, 
I am about to shower and then finish up my work day. I just wanted to give you guys that update. You probably won't see me. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm sorry for these braids to come out. But, um, like I was saying, you probably won't see me tonight. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. We are back from Pilates. Josh, tell them how Pilates was. Torture. It was very hard. But like, good. good yeah. Hard. I definitely would go again. To keep, I will continue to go to get better. So. We stopped at Chick-fil-A. I got a spicy chicken bowl. Here's your strawberry jelly. This salsa is so good. Five calories for this whole pack. This is how the bowl looks. There's more to it. And due to going out following these days. All right, y'all, so it's much later. I'm actually about to go back to work for my lunch. I was supposed to go to the store and shower my lunch, but I did not. Cause we need groceries it seems like i don't know i guess since we're trying to eat at home more i need to like adjust my grocery list because we ain't got no food <laughs> i don't know how we don't have food i go to the store so i took out the lamb chops i bought from sam's and i have like some rice and broccoli that I cooked well, it was monday yeah that I cooked monday with salmon so yeah that's gonna be dinner but I have this Amazon package. It came like Sunday. I just needed some. Ooh, y'all shake it. Okay. All right. So I needed one of these because I had one and I can't find it. And I know I did not throw it away. And somebody said they didn't see it. So I have to order another one. So I don't know where it went. No clue. But well, I'm going to show you what it is in a second. Y'all, I have an hour and a half meeting. In like an hour, I need the strength to make it through. Alright. So, it's one of these. Ugh. I had one. It came with like a little bag and everything. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if I left it at the gym one day or what. But this is for when I do my hip thrust at the gym. Now, mind you, they have their own, but I rather this one because it has Velcro and it'll stay on the bar. The one they have is like open, and every time I lift up, it'll like the bar just goes on my hip anyway. So, yes, got this, needed this, and then I saw this was like a cell. It's a jumpsuit. It's from this brand and it was ten dollars so yeah ten dollars is black but what I like about this one is it does have like you got the squinch waist and it's flare so I feel like this would be good for Pilates for sure since I'm a Pilates girl now and the back does go out a little bit so yeah i have these both linked below if you're interested i did check amazon yesterday and it went up to 15 dollars which i still don't think it's bad i just caught it like on their daily deals or whatever that it was 10 dollars. so and it comes with the built-in bra with pads which probably won't last long because i always been taking i've been taking a pattern out my sports bras because it's annoying like either have it sold in and call it a day or just don't have them so yes that's the two things i have from amazon i want to show you guys that i'm gonna keep that box i probably need it but i'm gonna keep that box and then yeah i'm gonna go to this meeting after my being in my shower but on my lunch i did work out i did take a, a 30 minute walk on the treadmill but like i was saying i was supposed to go to the store because we don't have like we don't have any food i thought i did good with grocery shopping and that sam's haul was like two weeks ago so i probably need to do another sam's 
haul but i don't know if i'm gonna do a pickup i probably do, i don't know okay i don't know what i'm gonna do because i could do a pickup tomorrow morning because they open for pickup for seven so you don't have to worry about waiting for 10 if i just stay in the gym to seven go pick up my stuff and call it a day like we need more meat like i only have the lamb chops i'm cooking today some frozen wings a pack of ground beef and that's it like that's it to cook so it was either gonna be spaghetti or the lamb chops today i really don't want to eat beef i've been trying to like limit my red meat consumption but i have to do what i gotta do i have no chicken i have no shrimp i have salmon but we just ate salmon monday so i know josh was like girl you can feed me the same meal <laughs> basically the same meal from monday so i'm gonna do lamb chops to switch it up a little bit but then i was like oh we have turkey burgers i can make some turkey burgers we ain't got no bread like we are struggling over here and it's sad because i was like oh I'm gonna, on my lunch i'm gonna go to the store and then it started raining and i was like oh i don't feel like going and driving in the rain and I was like, well, I'm going to wait until uh, tomorrow to go to the store. And I was like, shit, we need something to eat for lunch today. Like, but Josh found some, I guess some jalapeno poppers. He put it in the fryer. I'm about to eat some. And that's what will be lunch. And then lamb chops for dinner. And then I'll figure out. I'm trying to figure out, like, what I really want to cook. Because I'm, like, I'm buying ingredients. But I really don't have, like, meal plans in place. So that's what I need to start doing again is actually meal planning and see what we go eat because i could use that ground beef that last pack of ground beef to do taco bowls but i ain't got no potatoes like i don't have none that match <laughs> but yeah let me talk to you guys later it's time for me to log back in bye hey guys good morning so today is thursday may 2nd and we're about to head to the gym i did grocery orders yesterday i actually meal planned yesterday because i can't keep trying to figure out what to eat every freaking day so i got enough for six meals and then i ordered from heb and walmart so i got my meat and stuff from heb and i got walmart like the other few things and all that stuff i'll just show you a haul when i pick it up but I am about to head to the gym. It is 5.11. I wanted to be at the gym at 5.15, but that's not happening. So I just put my hair in a ponytail. I found this band under my sink. I don't know where those black bands went. I'm gonna have to order some more. Like I know Josh has one, but I think six came in a pack. So where's the other five? I don't know. Like, did I leave them in Mexico or something? Like, I don't know where they at. Like, I unpacked every single bag I had, including, like, my work bag. And I don't see them. So, I don't know what happened to them. So, I guess I need to order some more. Um. Anyway, these braids are done with. I, I think I'm getting kind of annoyed with them. Only because, like, the pieces are out. I haven't really took care of like the strands that's out and that's on me but yeah it's a little frustrating because i'm not like i saw like refresh videos and they want you to comb out each one no that's the point of me getting braids to be, for it to be low maintenance anyway these are coming out in probably like two weeks because i have a braid down appointment because i bought a wig i don't think i buy another wig then we'll wear wigs for the next month after that appointment. We'll see. It's going to be like a glueless wig, of course, because I need something I could just take off. Like, I wouldn't wear it to the gym because I'll put a hat on. But I need something I could um, take off every night, too, because that's irritating, too. But, yeah, I'm going to be, can't wait to take these out. I'm going to, what, what they'll be in for... How many weeks? They're good. Hit they six weeks. So that by the time I want to take them out. Let's see. It'll be eight weeks. So I'll have these. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Oh, wait. Seven weeks. It'll be seven weeks. I'll have these in. And yeah, I got my money's worth out of them. It was really like vacation hair. 
but of course since I'm going to gym braids are to me the easiest thing but anyway I'm about to head out I need to eat something I am PMS and lately I've been tracking my symptoms and my symptoms start 10 days before it starts imagine being in pain or just it's not like all day but it's like imagine getting PMS symptoms 10 days not three, not five, not even one, 10 days before it starts. It's tragic, it's horrific. So yeah, I'm about to take some Tylenol. I'm about to eat and take some Tylenol to get me through this workout. And yeah, I have on my gray handy dandy shirts. I have on my gray handy dandy pants. And I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear. I probably just do a back workout because I'm super sore. First of all, my butt is sore from cycling class and like with a you saddle on, that hurts. My core is sore from Pilates, both Pilates classes. My back, no, my shoulders are sore from Pilates and I did Tuesday, I did. A upper body workout so i was like oh for the core i'm like oh we're gonna be on our back the whole time no we was using the hell out of shoulders so my shoulders are on fire uh, so i'm just sore i'm inflamed i probably need to i should have got some more ginger to make some ginger shots for inflammation I have two oranges over there. I bought ginger for one of my recipes, but I should have just bought some more. I probably just do that over the weekend. And I probably in another vlog, cause this vlog is going in today. <laughs> but anyway, I will go to the gym and I will talk to you guys later. I'm gonna show you my haul and like the meals I plan on cooking with them. I made like, of course, I probably have to go to the store for like lunch items, but I was thinking Sam's for that because Sam's just have like easy stuff. Like that pulled chicken came in clutch. We ate on that for like two, three days. I need to run that pulled chicken back. Like Josh made quesadillas with it. He made tacos. I made um, sliders with it. That's something that we could do. We have for lunch. And then I need to get like some just quick things we could just eat for lunch because it's tough like people are like oh you work from home like you work from home when you don't want to spend money you'll be cooking breakfast lunch and dinner and i'm not a huge meal prep person because i really don't like eating the same thing over and over again that's why sometimes y'all see me just prep like meats and just meats and veggies and i try to like switch it up whatever what that is but i I used to try the meal prep thing. It's not for me. It's not for me. I'm not, cause I don't think I'm a leftovers person. That's probably why. Cause like once I like, Josh could eat the same thing for lunch and dinner. Like if we have leftovers, Josh should eat it for lunch. And he was like, they have more leftovers, he'll eat it for dinner. I was like, look, I had it the night before. I had it for lunch, that's enough. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. But I keep saying I'm gonna get out of here cause I really trying to, Try not to go, but I need to get cardio in for sure. All right, new set time to be at the gym, 5.30, bye. Okay, y'all, I am back from the gym, back from picking up my groceries, and I wanna show you guys what I got. I'm gonna do Walmart first because it's closer to me. Been obsessed, been obsessed with these mini ginger beers. I got an onion, potatoes, oh, potatoes some garlic, limes, and a green bell pepper. I got some vegetable oil, some low sodium soy sauce, cornstarch, some red curry paste, some rice vinegar, and some coconut milk. Next bag, some Monterey Jack cheese, some light sour cream, 
some butter, some cream cheese, and some jalapeno. <laughs> I don't know why they put this. Some green onions. Ooh, it stank already. Some colossal shrimp. What is it? It's just like, oh, that looks like it's just say like colossal somewhere. They changed their packaging. Colossal shrimp. And last bag. Two cans of chicken broth. This is reduced sodium. Some low carb tortillas. And some green chilies. So, the meals I'm cooking with this stuff. I'm doing a chicken adobo, shrimp, Thai curry, uh, what else? I forgot. Oh, white chicken enchiladas, shrimp pasta, taco bowls, and I think that's it. So now we're at HEB. I got a pack of chicken breast. A pack of chicken thighs and a pack of chicken legs. The breast is for my enchiladas, the thighs and legs are for my chicken adobo. I got some, ooh, I didn't know they had water in it, some Thai basil. Ooh, they gave me a lot of ginger, so I make them make with ginger shots. Some ginger root. This is for my recipe. But I can I think I can make some ginger shots, y'all. And I forgot to take this off. I got some more green onion. Oh, okay, I got some fish sauce. Two raspberry rose puppies, because they were on sale. And some more bay leaves. I got some scallion, well, one scallion, and then some potatoes for my taco bowl. And last bag, I got some shrimp. I'm gonna use this shrimp for my Thai shrimp Thai curry. So yes, I want to give y'all an accurate amount of what I spent. So at Walmart, I spent $51.86. And at HEB, I spent $36.34 plus $4.74 for the shrimp. And it came up to $92.94. So I got all of this for under $100. And that's about five to six meals with the stuff I, could, I already have at home. So... It's not my day to cook today, but I want to cook. But I probably do that in a short form video because I'm about to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me in today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I have a little message from my niece who's an inspiring YouTuber. Next. Bye. <laughs> Hi, you guys. We're here to do a video about washing hair. Yeah, and we can do a video to wash the hair mm -hmm. blue and pink that's play-doh but what are we doing play no we're gonna wash the hair mind your business and, and you need to scout aside and what are the video